types of motion. The first one is going to be the simplest one. So we're going to start off simple. We're going to draw later a motion diagram. But for now, the first motion that we're going to describe is an object that happens to be at rest. So now we could use the motion diagram since you know how to draw them. How will a rest motion diagram look like? Well, at rest means the cheetah is doing nothing, maybe lying down or looking around. So we could just draw the cheetah. And that looks like it's a rest. But again, we want to use dots because dots are going to help us to draw the cheetah much easier. But then you ask yourself, sir, that doesn't really show me at rest because we need to show that it's at rest. So not only in one frame, but in multiple frames. So if we were to have stacked up all of our images, this cheetah would be in the exact same location. So the way we can show multiple frames stacked up in one single image will be with the frame number as we did before. So we're going to do that by putting 0, comma 1, comma 2, comma 3. That means that in all of these frames, the cheetah did not change its location. When it does that, we can conclude it is in rest. Now the second one, let's make the challenge a little bit higher now. So suppose a cheetah is going along for a stroll, nice romantic walk with its imaginary friend, of course. All right, so let's draw the cheetahs. But again, the cheetahs are just there for me to draw because I like drawing. But you could use dots instead, right? So let's put some dots. And since we need to indicate the direction of motion, we we'll do that by putting the frame number. So zero. One, two. So I haven't told you what this type of motion is because you're going to look at this. Look at the distance between our dots. These distances are approximately the same. So what does that mean? The cheetah cover the same distance in how many seconds? Well, what's the time difference between each frame? One second. You call that? Between each frame is one second. Between one and two, one second. So if the cheetah covers the same spacing in one second as the next second, the same spacing, this is a constant pace. The more technical term that we're going to use in this course is going to be uniform motion. So it happens to be made uniform motion. And again, how do we know that? There are equal spacing for the same amount of time that's going by. Now there are two more. Now these are commonly gotten wrong by many people. Let's do them simultaneously. Now I'm not going to draw the cheetah anymore. I'm going to put the dots just so it's a little bit clearer for you. I need to show the direction of motion, and again, I put the index number of the frame. So, the index number, that, oh, okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This means the machine is going to the right. But with what type of motion? Well, between each of these, there's one second. One second. One second. One second. So, if you think about this, in each one second that passes by, the cheetah is able to cover a larger distance. So when this occurs, we consider this motion to be called speeding up. So again, speeding up means the cheetah covers more distance in each second of time that goes by. Now please do not use the words that you're more familiar with, like accelerating. Accelerating. This is not allowed to be used in physics. It's just common everyday talk, but not physics talk. So we're going to try to restrict ourselves to saying speeding up. So the opposite of speeding up is going to be slowing down. 
and we show slowing down, well, you might already have a clue. You're like, well, speeding up means the distance in each second is getting larger. So slowing down will be the opposite of that. Our cheetah is covering less distance in each second that passes by. Right? So look at this. As time is going by, the cheetah is able to cover less and less and less distance. So when this occurs, we say slowing down. Just like accelerating is not allowed, something else that you're more familiar with, decelerating, this is also not allowed. So it's allowed if you're taking a driver's test or talking to anyone out of the streets, but in physics, we don't describe motion with the words accelerating and decelerating. Uh, let us first study acceleration later in this course, then we can try to use the words that we learned. But for now, our vocabulary is restricted to at rest, uniform motion, speeding up, and slowing down.